how is it going to run DAX in today? We're going to be reacting to a Kowalska's art video, The Paradox of Infinite Universe. That sounds absolutely terrifying, so let's get straight into it. I'm going to put it in transparent mode, just on the fact of some Kowalska's art videos are copyright, copyright problems. So uh, anyway, away we go. Do not cross. Is the universe infinite? Does it have an edge? Nah, and if so, uh, yeah. what would you see if you went Our there? Infinite. Today, we know that the universe had a beginning 14 billion years ago and that it's been expanding ever since. But mm -hmm. something that's expanding should also have an edge, right? Well, uh, it sort of does. It I don't think it's physically possible for us to see this edge if there is an edge anyway. That, that is my personal opinion. Information can't travel faster than light. That means that we can only see parts of the universe whose light has had time to reach us in the last 14 billion years. When we look outwards, what we see is a sphere centered on us, the observable universe. But it gets a tad more complicated. Because the universe has been expanding, we know that the most far away things whose light we can see are actually 45 billion light years from us right now. So the this always confuses me, man. I'm not, I don't have the brain capacity to understand that, but because it's, it's like in a way we're looking back to the past because it doesn't look like that anymore. So that always confuses me and it's kind of scary to think. But then again, would the observable universe be our edge of existence? Because we can't observe any further. So is that technically count as our edge, our end of the universe? Because will we, we, will we, 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 words, will we be ever able to see outside the observable universe? It's called the observable universe because it's the only part of the universe we can observe. But with science advancing, there's no other way of passing the speed of light, right? There's no other method. So will we ever be able to see further than the observable, observable universe? So is that our edge of the universe in a type of way, if you know what I mean? The, the far edge that we will ever see. So the observable <laughs> universe is a sphere with a radius of 45 billion light years. Okay. It contains around 200 billion galaxies, each with hundreds of billions of stars. So for us, there is an edge. We're looking at the yep. past until there answered. is just yep. no past left. Uh... This edge is really more like an edge in time and, in a sense, meaningless. The real universe oh. is for sure bigger than what we can see. But how much? There are yeah. two options. Either the universe is really big but finite, or it's tr truly infinite. A finite universe means that if you want to fill it with ice cream, you, you can do it. You need a lot of ice cream, but it is a finite amount. But mm -hmm. that leads to a weird problem. Such a universe should have an edge, a cosmic yeah. wall where space ends. And yeah. if there's an edge, there should be something outside that edge. But the universe, by uh, definition, is all there is. So mm -hmm. how could there be stuff outside all there is? Oh, that Does the idea of something it. outside of everything even make sense? Yeah, Except, of course, there is a physics hack. You can have a universe that has no border, but that still could be filled with a finite amount of ice cream. What if the universe is truly finite? Imagine an orange and a really tiny ant. The yeah. ant can only see a small piece of the skin, just as you can only see a small chunk of the universe. Mm -hmm. But if the ant starts walking, it will eventually walk around the whole orange and be back to its starting point. Okay. So the skin of an orange is not infinite, but it doesn't have a border. The universe... So what you're trying to tell me is the universe is a planet of planets all in one. This is not like the skin of an orange, but it could be very similar. Instead of a sphere, it could be a hypersphere, where 3D space is curled on itself. Which is impossible for your brain to visualize, unfortunately. Yeah, but the sense. point is, no borders, no outside of the hypersphere. From our human ant perspective, our whole 3D space is like the peel of the orange. If you were aboard okay. a spaceship flying in a straight line, you would eventually come back to Earth. Okay. How does any of this make sense? No, that makes sense. The actual physics is hard so we have to simplify and lie a bit here. But in a nutshell, it all boils down to gravity. The way it works is that mass creates gravity by bending space-time. This bending is the strongest where the mass is, but sort of... Well, if you think about the universe as another planet itself, keeping all the planets in a sphere shape, right? And then you, we've got to figure out how to get out of the, the universe's planet 
in order to see what's beyond that, if that is even possible, if that even even exists, or if that's a thing. I can understand if, what, exactly what you meant, yeah. Stretches on forever, like a very mild tension in the fabric of space-time itself. This could bend the whole universe in a way where it bends back on itself, which then mm. makes the hypersphere. If you mm -hmm. find this confusing, we're with you. If the universe happens to be a hypersphere, how could we find out how big it is? On Earth, we can see things disappear below the horizon, and that helps us calculate how big the Earth is. Scientists tried to find some sort of universe horizon that would reveal the scale of the cosmic sphere, but didn't see anything. Which means yeah. that if the universe is a hypersphere, it needs to be so big that from our perspective, it looks like we're living on a flat surface. For this well, to yeah. make sense, a hyperspherical yeah. universe should be at least 1,000 times bigger than our observable part. It could be a trillion Jesus. times bigger for all we know, but not smaller than that. And if it's expanding, we're never going to see it. Some scientists <laughs> thought all of this is way too straightforward and came up with a wilder option. Oh, the gosh. universe could be like the frosting of a donut. A hyperdonut, also what? impossible to visualize for your brain. This, okay, this too means that if you travel in a straight line, you'd get back to where you started, but with fun complications. In a hyperdonut mm. universe, there's not the same amount of stuff in every direction. If two Sorry. spaceships fly in different directions, one could get longer. back to the start way earlier. This also means okay. that light from faraway galaxies would do fun and confusing stuff in a sort of cosmic hall of mirrors effect. Okay, we could see faraway things in hell? two places, but not just that, we would see it in different moments in time. Because its light oh. would have taken much longer to travel in one direction than the other. You could see a star being born in- Oh bro, this would be so like impossible to prove as well because because we rotate so much we couldn't say oh that's this is the direction we were facing at this time and then we're looking at this side and it's all of a sudden behind us therefore it's 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 gonna be hard that, that, that's one of those theories that can only be proven in time in front of you and see that same star die on the opposite side of the sky how what? big would such a hyper donut universe be well because of its strange geometry actually this is kind of the smallest possible universe potentially just oh. a few times bigger than the observable universe. But it could also be way, way bigger. We don't know. Okay, right. so much for finite universes. But what infinite if it's truly universe. infinite and space goes on forever? What would that be like? I think this is the biggest possibility, right? What if the universe is truly infinite? Actually, the cosmological model used by most scientists describes an infinite universe. We mm. mostly use it to calculate what happens inside our observable chunk, but if taken literally, it predicts an infinite universe. An infinite universe goes on, well, forever, with no border anywhere. Like an unlimited Minecraft seed baby, random pa planets spawning here and there, damn bro. Also impossible to visualize. Wherever you look, you'll find more and more stuff in every possible direction. It's not impossible to visualize, I just summed it up. It's an infinite Minecraft world, baby, but it's a universe. This kind of breaks our brain a bit for a few reasons. No, it First doesn't. of all, <laughs> if the universe is infinite, is it also yeah. eternal and has been there forever? Was there a time when there was nothing everywhere and then there was something that's everywhere? that's the biggest theory, right? Big well, bang? we don't know, but we have a lot of evidence for the Big Bang, <laughs> so it really seems like the universe yeah. started at some point in the past. But wait. Since the Big Bang, the universe has been expanding. How can an mm -hmm. infinite thing that's everywhere become even bigger? Cosmic expansion just means that the distance between galaxies is growing with time. Mm. Even an infinite space can become bigger. Welcome to the past. Is cosmic expansion a full theory that's been proven, or is that just something that we're surmising is the most logical theory? Because I, I do wonder if that's a legitimate... It's proven theory. Paradoxes of infinity. If everyone goes off that fact. Infinity that we are gets expanding. much weirder though. As you travel with your spaceship in a straight line, you find new galaxies, stars and planets, new wonders, new weird stuff, probably new aliens and new life forms stranger than you could ever imagine. Show me what but after you a long got. time, you might find the most special thing in the universe yourself. An exact copy of what? you watching this video right now. How can that be? Well, everything in existence is made of a finite amount of different particles. 
and a finite number of different sick. particles can only be combined. Do you know what I'd do if I had two of me? Man, I would be so proactive. I, I would have, one of me would be sleeping at all times, while the other one's doing the work, and then we'd swap over, I'd do all the work, they would be sleeping. Right, it's done. Uh, when is this? Please prove this theory. In a finite number of ways. I need this. That number may be so large that it feels like infinity to our brains, but it's not really. If you have finite options to build things, but infinite space that is full of things in all directions forever, then it makes sense that by pure chance, there will likely be repetition. Although, uh... just because something is possible, doesn't mean it will actually happen. Yeah, Maybe okay. the universe goes on forever, but only the boring stuff repeats itself endlessly. True. Maybe there is really only... We could be an anomaly. One, you. But if the laws yeah. of physics are the same everywhere, then far, far away, gas could have given birth to stars and planets where primitive genetic information could emerge from chemistry, which might have ended up in cells and animals... Like, we ourselves might not be out there somewhere, but another human race might be. evolved in really unlikely ways and eventually apes that learn how to create online videos. It happened yeah. at least once, so the chance is not zero. If it's infinity, Even yeah, Even if no... the chance of there being an exact copy of you watching this video right now is almost zero, almost, almost zero not, is still a huge number in an infinite universe. True. Unfortunately, you'll never meet, because almost zero mm. still means the chance is incredibly small. Earth, as it exists... And you don't have there at different times, you know what I mean? Like... Our, our universe now, our, pla our planet right now, might be at the state of where we are now, but then another planet might be in the Roman times, so... We, exists we right now is so unlikely, so you'd have to travel one. incredibly far to find a second identical Earth. Some 10 to the 10 to the 29, a 1 followed by 100 octillion zeros, times the size of the observable universe. So far that it kind of Let means me forever far away. Still, in a truly infinite universe, every combination of particles could reasonably not just occur only once, but an infinite number of times. <sighs> oh, cool. It's time to stop now. While these scenarios are possible on paper, we've entered science philosophy here. Currently, mm. none of these ideas are testable or provable. Ah, if the true. universe is infinite, we will never know. The reality well, is, do. for us, on, the universe is finite and has an edge. And we can yeah, see the, the edge, universe. the edge yeah. in time. Everything we can interact with is within the observable universe, and mm. most likely, this will stay true forever. Even if this finite universe feels small to you, it's more than big enough to fulfill all the dreams that we and our descendants can ever come up with. Infinite. What's crazy, right? Observable universe, right? Uh, we would have to have, if we wanted to see aliens, wouldn't they have to come into the observable universe or be in the observable universe itself in order for us to communicate with them? Because we would never even see that. Like, we worry about aliens invading all the time, but they're not even in the observable universe. We're not going to, they're not going to be a problem anyway, right? Really enough for all of us. While we can't be sure whether the universe is infinite, many fascinating questions do oh, have okay, definitive answers anyway. in science, maths. Make sure you support Cause of God and all the things they do. Uh, the thing about the observable universe as well, is it just based on where we are? So would our observable universe be different if we colonized another planet? Of course, the British guy talking about colonization. But you know what I mean? If we took another planet out there somewhere that was livable, and then we started life there, and then we just cut all the crap, and then just started off to where we are at this point, by this technology-wise, we'd have to go back to the Romans or whatever time, but we just go back to that, we go to our time there, and we set up satellites and everything, would our observable universe be different than the one on Earth, or would it be exactly the same? Because that way, we could only do it that way, right? We'd have to make more planets, more human planets, that's the, that's the aim of the game. But again, that's not going to be done for another bloody 200,000 years, probably. But anyway, that was a good video! Make sure you check out the original description down below. I will see you in the next video. Latest.